This is New Cap News with Michaela Henschel. Good evening. The Lloydminster Rescue Squad has been deployed to northern Saskatchewan to aid in the search of a missing young man. It will be a difficult task, no doubt, but the squad is getting some assistance from its canine members. Darcy Ropchan has more. Captain Ryan LeBlanc and members of the Lloydminster Rescue Squad are lending their services to northern Saskatchewan RCMP. We fly in uh, tomorrow morning. We're departing the Lloydminster Airport tomorrow morning. Uh, we fly in and we're going to be meeting with the local RCMP and the search team that is currently up there right now. The area they're tasked with searching is a cold and punishing terrain. It's a search that takes a lot of preparation. Your everyday amenities aren't, aren't available to you, so we have to plan for food, water for our search team. Uh, we have to make sure that the, we have an adequate amount of supplies for the dog. It's a tough job to go into a remote community and search, but Ryan and his team are getting some help from the squad's search dogs. Uh, we've had uh, the dog out, uh, in, out in Saskatchewan earlier in the year, um, and Lloyd Rescue was uh, instrumental in, in, in helping to locate a missing uh, person that went into the uh, river. Lava is one of the dogs embarking on this mission. She's been training with her handler, Stacy, since she was three months old. She's three years old now. Um, we just train, start off slowly with just games of uh, trying to find people and getting a toy as their reward. Stacy and her dog have a tough job ahead of them. It can be interesting. Uh, sometimes we're intense. Uh, sometimes we're in just barracks or things like that. Other times we do get the whole comforts of a hotel, but not very often. Although a missing person search can be a grim task for Lava, searching is just a game. She's uh, absolutely wild and crazy about her toy that she gets for a reward at the end for her find. And yet she just has fun with it. Darcy Ropchan, New Cap News. Well, children spending their night at the Stollery will be able to sleep a little more sound over the holidays. Thanks to Lloyd Minster's Olivia Brokoff, Kira Lines explains. When Olivia was only 12 years old, her desire and drive to make a difference in the world led her to creating Project PJ. Three years ago, my friend's sister was sick and um, she's all better now, but she was complaining about how gross the PJs were and how they weren't comfortable and cold. So I thought, hey, this would be a nice surprise for everybody. She said to me, Mom, I want to talk to you about something. And I, it's really important. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, what is it? And she said, I haven't done enough to change the world. And I said, oh, what do you have in mind? And she said, I wanted to, I want to donate 100 pairs of pajamas to the sick kids at the Stollery. Each year, she's collected more than the last, starting off at 600 pairs and reaching over 1,200 last year. You see those little kids in those pajamas or those letters from those parents, and then you really get like, wow, this is actually something that it's, it's bigger than just a pair of pajamas. But I've gotten cards and picture and pictures their parents will send us pictures, and it's really nice. Although it is a lot of work, it's been an amazing project for both the Stollery and Olivia. I think for her, it's shown her that an idea that's so small can become so big and affect more people than, than just yourself. And they're so happy, and they're saying how happy the kids are, and it's just a great feeling. Drop-off sites are Wayside Dental Center, Alta Sask Wellness, and Meridian Surveys. Or you can contact Olivia on Facebook at Project PJ by Olivia. To know that even if you're 12 years old, um, you can change. You can change the world, and and I think she has. Kira Lyons, New Cap News. This is New Cap Sports. Well, once again, the Lloydminster Junior B Bandits are the Border City's only winning junior team. Entering play Wednesday, the Bandits are 6-4 and four and playing their first home game in nearly a month against a team they're chasing in the standings, the Vermilion Tigers. Lance Phillips has more. It was a home win that certainly didn't come easy. Down two goals early, the Bandits battled back taking a one-goal lead into the first intermission. After two periods, the Bandits and Tigers had combined for 10 goals, with Lloyd Minster holding a 6-4 edge, eventually earning the 9-4 win. It was a sloppy game from both sides, and despite the score, 
it was a game that could have easily been won by the visiting team, if not for two great individual efforts. Tegan, Peters, right? That line they played, they played a heck of a game. Uh, I think you guys, they feed off of each other, right? And once we got that first goal um, and started getting our, getting our feet, getting back into it, we, uh, you know, we went from there, right? Yeah, I mean, we started slow, but we picked it up as the game went on. So, you know, we worked hard, battled through the tough spots, and we got the win. The team's captain, Matt Nilsson, scored three times, but wasn't the only one. Peters also notched three and was sporting a unique piece of headwear to commemorate his achievement, an achievement he believes he doesn't earn by himself. It's the player of the game helmet. You know, the best player each game gets a helmet, so. It was my line mates, you know. Get the pucks and get spots, and I was in the right spot at the right time, so I couldn't have got it without my teammates. So, it's a great feeling to have it. It's players like Peters who are integral to the success of the Bandits, and not just this season, but for the foreseeable future. That's the future, right? So, Brad, uh, and myself, you know, we're we're working closely with them, and it, it, we're taking baby steps, right? But it, there's we're 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 improving. An improvement is sure to breed further successes. Lance Phillips, Newcap Sports, Lloyd Minster. When you see news happening, let us know. Grab your phone and hit record, and become part of the Newcap News Team. It could make you one hundred dollars richer. If you capture news happening, drop us an email at tvnews at newcap.ca.